Hello everyone. Uh, I am working hard to finish this journal up so that I can do a flip through and I'm so excited. It's really like packed full of good stuff that I want to share. Um, but I keep telling myself, okay, just finish these last few pages and then you can share it. So what I wanted to do is show you how I'm going to, um, work with a page that comes out like this so this is my junk journal and i put i made it out of all different types of papers that i had laying around and one of them happened to be something that i took notes on well when i wrote over here it bled through and it's leaving me with this so i have a few options sometimes i paint right over it but today I thought that I would just glue on a piece of paper that I have. It's already dry. It's one of my painted papers that I I sometimes make if I have leftover paint that I have been using on a previous project. I'll just grab some copy paper and I paint on it or I might use it. Um, I have used it one or two times with the jelly plate. I'm not good at the jelly plate at, at all i just barely got one for christmas this last year so but anyway if, if you use your jelly plate plate prints they might look something like this and i i just kind of measure it against the page that i want to cover and today i think i'm going to um tear it with a ruler I need to emphasize that I am not very precious in my journals anymore. I used to be, but I mean, there's really no time for that. I got a lot of stuff that I need to uh, record and document in here and I don't have time to be going over something for an hour to get it perfect. So. I like it. Okay, and now I'm just gonna use an Elmer's glue stick. I have to confess, I've only recently started using this. I used to be like die hard, only use gel medium and only matte gel medium for my anything collage or gluing into my journal. But, um, uh, I just saw like a lot of my journal buddies using a glue stick online and I thought, okay, there's got to be something to that. I don't know. I guess before I just thought that it didn't really work. I was like, glue stick, right. Because I think I had, I had tried them a couple of times when I was teaching um, at a elementary school and they just were horrible they were dried up they didn't work at all so but lately i've been using this glue stick and it works excellent so i do recommend it now i am using it especially if i want to get something done quickly <clears throat> All right, so as you can see right here, you, um, it didn't cover the whole page and I it doesn't bother me. I'm okay with that. I have no idea what I'm going to put here, but let's just go over what's here because maybe it might, I might find something to relate to this. So this image is from my collage sheet over on Etsy at my store called Book of Magic. And it it's from the, the kit that's called uh, Moonflowers. And so I printed it out and I cut her face out and then glued along the edges here so that it could be a pocket. Um, this is on cardstock. And sometimes if I don't have cardstock to print on, I'll just print 
the image out on regular paper and glue it down to a piece of cardstock to make it sturdier and then cut that whole thing out as one and use it. So this is just a doodle that I made um, with paint markers um, on copy paper. And it, oh, it's actually, it's from um, a class that I taught online. And I said it was a doodle because I have doodled this image so many times. But it is a bit doodle-ish because I didn't put a whole lot of overthinking into it. It just kind of flowed out. So in that way, it is like a doodle. And then I put some notes on the back about that online course and things that I I liked about it and um, how I did feel like I was a good teacher afterwards. And I wanted to keep this to remind myself on the days where I feel like not so good of a teacher. That helps me. So I, I like how this looks. Now, normally if I'm not filming, I will just sit here in silence <laughs> and allow something to come to me. So I'm going to take a break and I will come right back, hopefully with this, a magnificent idea. Okay, so I'm back and nothing like too profound has come to me about this. I think that I will may I will paint um, a flower arrangement in the middle here and see what happens after that. Um, I do have this little note that says, put your ass where your heart wants to be. And it's from Stephen Pressfield. And I, just because it's purple, it stood out to me as I was looking for things to add to the spread. So I might put that here somewhere. And this concept would tie into how I, um, well, when he says this, put your ass where your heart wants to be, he's talking about physically putting yourself in the space to get what you want. So for me, my example would be, I need to put myself in, physically in situations where I can teach. And this video is actually one of them. So um, I think this is a really good idea to put in here. Maybe I'll put it on this side and tie it in somehow. Maybe I can make it like a little tag that kind of wraps around a flower arrangement. So, okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to use acrylic paints and acrylic inks, um, some golden high flow acrylics possibly i'm gonna use just whatever i have here on my desk that i use most often and um I, i'm gonna let the the video record me now and i will be back after i'm all finished to talk about what i make Okay, so I'm back and I ended up creating this bouquet of flowers that sort of mimicked the design that I already had here. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, it's kind of scribbly and that's how I wanted it. I was trying to get my purple paint marker to work and it seems to be all dried up. So I just used the colors that I had here and it actually makes like the perfect purple to match this. So 
that worked out well. I made a string. I kind of tied it in by carrying the design over onto the next page. Um, I kept the theme of encouragement to myself about teaching. Uh, I kept it going back and forth here. Um, and so that's how I usually create my layouts when I have um, an open two page spread and there's only one side that's done. I try to um, usually, I mean, I don't always because there are no rules, but a lot of times if I'm right at the end of filling a journal, um, this is a quick way to just fill in those last couple of pages by bringing what's already there over and then telling a story back and forth. And then I put the date, put my little note. I wrote myself another note here, keep teaching, keep showing up, Amy, you're doing a freaking amazing job. Cause you know, I like hearing that. Even if it's from myself, I really do like hearing it. Especially if it's from myself, I like hearing it. So there you go. That is um, a moment of journaling with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe you get inspired in some way to um, add to your journal today. And I will see you in the next video.